I'm starting to find myself in a position that I don't like from a knife perspective. I'm going to come down here, find that lean drumette, and come right down into it right here, to this joint. There it is. And we're going to cut that as well. Right from here. Get those tendons cut. And there I go. I have one breast there. I could break that down even further if I wanted to and take that drum head off, but we'll leave it on today. Now we'll do this side of the bird. And because we've got one side done, we should get a little bit of extra fat up here. I can take this off. If I wanted to, which is what I actually do, I'll take this and I'll put it in a pan that I have going back here and I'll start to render some of that fat off. So when I do that, that means I'm capturing that goodness and not wasting it. So there we go. It's going to come right in here, follow right along the inside, just like that. joint, grab that drumette, and cut that off, just like that. And there we go, we have our breast here, which leaves us the rest of what to do. You see I got a little extra meat here, it won't go to waste, I'll just trim it off, and what I can do with that, I can throw it in my stock pot, so we know we don't have that. That, that going to waste for us. And then there's a drumstick in here somewhere. You can find it, break it. Somebody's gonna have good luck. I don't know who it'll be, but uh, I think it's gonna be my family when we eat this bird tonight. So we'll have a collective bone cracking, if you will. All right, turn it over, find that head joint. I'm gonna come inside here, get that oyster, and we're gonna come underneath. Oh, you guys hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. That's a snap crack of pop right there. And we have that. And we'll come over here and we'll do this side as well. Oh yeah, pop. Goes the weasel, because the weasel goes pop. One of my favorite songs right there, back in the day. Oh yeah, and look at that. It is broke down. We have the turkey neck inside. We've already got the gizzard out. So you're saying, man, what are you gonna do with all this right here? I have a pot. I'm gonna put this in the pot. I'm gonna take the carcass. I'll do something with it a little bit later. I'll break it down. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way right now over into another container in the kitchen. Now I gotta break these down to where they're a little smaller as well. I'm gonna take my thighs. I'm gonna cut right around that drumstick, pinch it, find out where it meets the thigh, like that. There we go. Right around there it is. And the drumstick has lots and lots of tendons in it for this leg. It's great for smoking, especially if you're a Renaissance man or think you're going to a fair. What I'm gonna do with them, I'm actually gonna put them in my stock. And I'll use them later for some other delicious things that we'll make over the weekend because we're going to have leftovers. I got uh, some Merlotons. I think we're going to end up getting as well. And do some stuff in Merlotons. Let's see where there's that joint. Right there. Come into it nice and easy. Ooh. That's the way to go right there. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to put these in the pot as well. That'll cook. I have this great stuff. I have this bone right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to come through, I'm going to scrape the bone a little bit, find out where it connects, and I'm going to take, I'm going to go ahead and debone this because it'll make it so much easier when we go to cook. All right? Knife underneath here. Just come down. I'm going to cut that right around that cart. 
cartilage right there. Separate this little bone off. Easy as that. Guess where that's gonna go? Go ahead, take a guess. You're right, a stock pot. All right, can't get any past you guys today. You know, so smart. Here's the other one. Let's go ahead and clean that up as well. Now I'm working nice and quick here. It's a beautiful turkey. I was able to find it at a great price. So I was like, you know, we don't normally do a big one, but in the, in the past years, you know, my sons were not quite as uh, voracious uh, of eaters as they are nowadays, especially one of them. He just gets down on it. Like he's cool in the gang or something, right? It hits the table and he's like, give it. And then it's like that for the next two, three hours. Okay? Doesn't matter what it is. He's just on it. So that's that there. This will go here. Back in the pot. And then we have our breast. I'm going to leave the uh, drumette on for presentation at the table in a little bit. I'm going to get them seasoned up with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of herb butter. We'll rub it around and then we'll put it in the oven, 425, probably give it about 45 minutes and it's going to be done. So come back and see us when we start to uh, pull everything out of the oven and let it rest. You'll see what it looks like when we go to the table.